Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video I've partnered up with one of my amazing sponsors Prestige Car Hire. I asked my followers on Instagram previously to vote between four different cars. I had the Lamborghini 582 Spider, the Ferrari Portofino, the Bentley Continental and the Mercedes GTR. I mean four amazing cars but the one that was clearly the winner and the one that my followers chose was the Mercedes AMG GTR. GTR is AMG's beast to challenge the Porsche 911 GT3. When looking at the performances of the GTR and the GTR Pro around the legendary Nürburgring, you can clearly see the proof is there to prove that AMG mean business and they are building high quality GT cars. With an RRP of £143,000, including VAT, this car really does fit in well within the market. The GTR is AMG's track focused car with stiffer springs, thicker anti-roll bars to make the car more dynamic and wider tracking to increase the stability. All of this plays an important part in extracting the performance out of this spec AMG GT to get the perfect road going and track beast. Looking at the front of the car, this big aggressive grille is not only aesthetically pleasing, but it's actually a really important part of this car to get enough air into the engine so that the engine can perform at its optimum. Other important features of the AMG GTR is their focus on optimizing the aerodynamics package. Another unique factor of the AMG GT is where they place their engine. So let's take a look inside. Looking at the placement of the 4 litre V8 bi-turbo engine, if you look closely you can see that the engine is behind the front axle which ultimately makes this car a unique mid-engine supercar where the driver sits behind the engine. This really plays an important role in getting the perfect weight distribution from front to rear. Moving on to the brakes, a key feature is the yellow brake calipers which is unique to the AMG GTR but the focus has to be on how much braking performance they offer. AMG also offer you the choice of having carbon ceramic brakes, which would, although add to the price tag, it also adds to the stopping power of this extremely fast beast. As we walk to the rear of the car, you'll see the carbon fiber roof, which makes this car a lot lighter. I also love the consistency of yellow throughout, as you'll see on the GTR badge. We've also got the rear spoiler and the rear diffuser, which is part of the aerodynamics package that I was talking about earlier. Another feature is the AMG performance exhaust. Sounds absolutely amazing, so let's head on in the car and let's get this baby started up and hear her roar. the car you'll straight away see the brushed stainless steel AMG panel with the AMG illuminated badge. Inside the car you'll see the AMG detailing all over. We've got it on the floor mats, the steering wheel and also the backs of the seats. I think it's a really nice touch and the AMG all over the car adds a lot of consistency. You'll also see that we've got the AMG emblem embossed in the centre panel which is a really nice touch as well. Continuing with the yellow theme throughout the GTR, you can see they have a fine level of yellow stitching throughout the interior. I find it adds a nice sporty touch without the yellow being too overpowering. Okay, so now join me inside and let's take a look at this AMG's features. The first thing you'll see when we head inside the car is this massive centre console. We've got all these buttons and the first one that's very important is obviously the start-stop button. So it's a keyless start-stop. 
We've then got this dial here, which has comfort, sport, sport plus, and race mode. There's also an eye here, which is individual, which means you can create a custom based setup for this car. We've got traction control, which can go off and on, and I'll show you the TC dial a bit later on. We've got the suspension here, which we can make, turn into sport or sport plus to stiffen the car. We have the exhaust button over here, which opens up the exhaust pipes. We have a start stop button. I always turn this off because it annoys me in traffic. And then we also have this manual button. And as you'll see on the steering wheel, we have some paddle shifts. So clicking this button will ensure that you can drive this car using it manually with the paddles, which is a really cool feature. Okay, now that we've gone through all the controls, let's start her up and see how she drives. So let's click it into drive and let's go. settings so I can turn it all the way off or all the way on and somewhere in between so this means if I'm going to a racetrack or want to take this car on track 
I can really fine tune the TC to whatever my race needs are. For you guys, there's a July offer on from Prestige Car Hire. If you hire any car on their fleet for three days or more, you'll get one day free. So make sure to use code ESME to get your offer. Thanks guys and thanks to Prestige Car Hire.